which one use? How does it sound? How will it work? And even how would they do it? Well, change, they say, is inevitable. And that is exactly what we were about. Being credible, authoritative, professional, and most importantly, a trusted news source. We have taken up issues of social justice and I think so far so good. We are executing it very well. We are seeking justice for a lot of people, people who hitherto didn't know who to run to. You are too small. Oh, let me tell you, you are I'm too small. To all generally this is the man that you went and did and some people went and beat you up. Yeah. I am telling you. They are still supporting them. What do you mean by I supporting? Never again within the... And so, we first hit the airwaves and got social media buzzing with our news promo that perhaps for obvious reasons did shake some newsrooms. A technical team made up of people with wealth of experience, they were poised to deliver. We had the best, the highest grade of equipment that uh, one can think of in this country. It was the 3rd of October 2016. An entire nation was put on tenterhooks. The day of reckoning has come and the razzmatazz would have to be translated into real action. I remember around midday, our founder came here. He came here with his son. I'm sure that he came here not to put pressure on us, but to see our preparedness and our, our readiness for our first bulletin. Producer at the time, Jojo Kobner, had the arduous task of putting together all the compelling content, content that would hold viewers spellbound for the entire week and even subsequently. Around that time, I mean, election campaigning was on, everyone else was talking about politics, politics, politics. We wanted a, very, a social story that everyone relates to. After all was said and done, the bubbly, energetic, beautiful and ever eloquent Nanaba Namwa was sure to be in her element. Indeed, she was a delight to watch. Welcome to GH1 News Tonight. Coming to you live from the Platinum High Studios in Accra. Welcome to News Tonight on GH1. My name is Nana Abba Anamwa, EIB Election Hub. Of course, you've heard so much about it because it is your most credible source for everything concerning the 2016 elections. In a matter of weeks, GH1 News had become a household name and Ghanaians couldn't wait to have more. But the team already had a package for them and that was Newsroom with the ravishing Kemini Amano pulsating presentation. Isaac, you were telling us what else you know about this story. Uh, go ahead. Critical analysis. We'll get into a conversation on why these political uh, of these chiefs can't seem to get off that wagon of endorsing publicly uh, presidential candidates or political parties. And going live wherever the news breaks. I remember last year, before the election, he called us and told us that Mahama, former President Mahama, is discriminating. But as for him, when he comes to power, he will not discriminate. So we are telling him, she should, he should better post us or else some of us, they have to kill us. We were at um, a spot and we saw fire raining from heaven. Boom! Spreading all the... So I thought that... Is coming to an end. With 2016 being an election year, the task appeared endless for the GH1 News team. The EIB election help campaign had gone viral, and once again, expectations were riding very high. But the team was still in charge, generating the discourse on all the critical issues likely to define the outcome of the elections. You've listed the things that the people in the constituency like. They like the hospitals, they like the schools, they like the clinics, they like the developments going on there. Do they like the filth in that constituency? Well, you know, development is a process. Today in Kologono, they appreciate the environment in which we are in. 
I have never said, neither has the president, we have never said that we have attended to everything. If somebody says the country is going back, and no one may be one, I can't think far. I can't think far. Voters have actually masked up at the Foundation Center, which is at the Engineer Center on the Accra High Street wanting to observe the collation of the entire results as well and the security personnel here is having a real tight is finding it difficult to disperse the crowd over here it is my duty and my privilege to declare Nana Adodankwa Akufuado as a president-elect of the Republic of Ghana. We continue to go the extra mile of furnishing viewers with in-depth analysis of the major issues on Insights, which also includes getting your views on various social media platforms heard. Even though Ghana is seen as a safe operating environment for journalists, the country is fast gaining a rather negative reputation. With the GH1 News team being just a year old, it has had its reporters being harassed, beaten up or battered in the line of duty. Two security men who claimed to be from the Mokola shopping mall approached us that we should hand over our equipment to them. And he's twisting my hand to take off the camera. It's not the right thing. What of if he breaks my hand? So in, um, based on that, I refuse to hand over my camera to him. We remain committed to giving voice to the voiceless and being a perfect accountability vehicle to drive all the issues that matter to you. As we mark one year of being your trusted news source, the GH1 News team renews and pledges its unerring commitment to telling compelling stories with strong originality that hold viewers' attention through to the end and keep them coming back for more.